name of the project is Key Kite 1982 and the project is a, an offering to uh, New Westminster or the Key Kite Nation because I was born there and I um, feel it's difficult to describe because um, incredible atrocities happen there and if those atrocities had not happened the city would not be there in some way I wouldn't have been born so this is my way of giving back a little bit and showing my gratitude and it's hard to talk about but uh, I tried to manifest how I felt in this exhibition I didn't plan it out this way but it just turned out that it seems like this wall here to my right represents the past in some way or a balanced reality where uh, humans and nature are are living in in balance with each other in respect and recognition um, structure is a simple construction of very simple materials like dimensional lumber and um, there's three equally spaced spaces inside and on the two ends there's uh, walls of cedar. There's a, a circular drawing of the flow of the Stalo River and there's also those two points where Grunt Gallery is here and that's uh, Royal Columbian Hospital. And there's other places like uh, this little island I was very interested in, which is Poplar Island. Uh, that's where Grunt Gallery is located. And that's uh, New West down here. There's these uh, circles of humans floating about here. And uh, I felt like they represented like a whole human being that was coming back into a uh, state of balance with the world again. That's what I feel like this, all these drawings on this wall, what they feel like to me. And uh, there's some patterns on the wall here that I thought were really inspiring. I, I love patterns in nature. So the ones at the bottom are um, salmon skin scales. So there's uh, this incredible pattern overlapping. And then above that, there's uh, traditional cedar weaving. I wrote these, these three little poems, or just words, whatever came to me, relating to the past, present, and future. And uh, the performance was entailed these, I was re speaking these words out loud as I was also doing, playing some percussion instruments or playing the building itself. Talks about actions being driven by fear and greed and how there's a genocide almost on the natural world and people who revere the natural world as, as uh, intricate to being alive. It's like everything in this, in this realm it seems right here is like falling apart or has fallen apart. Things are very broken and fragmented. And there's no real representations of nature on this wall. This map of well, it's a section of a map, but it, it's all tr streets that have been traced from a map. So it shows how, how we've cut up nature. We've cut, cut it up into these very angular shapes in order to accommodate vehicles. And there's no, there's no trees, there's no notion of nature in that like almost all the rivers in the city are 
are underground and flowing through a culvert. And the <laughs> engineers want to control all of that and control the flow of river because maybe it's seen that water is problematic to urban development. <laughs> it's like, I can't imagine something more, I don't know, backwards. My name is Emilio Portel, Key Kite 1982. This is a, an ongoing installation honoring the complexities and mysteries of Key Kite history, Canadian colonialism, and my own personal journey with, uh, with that history. I was born in New Westminster in 1982 which is the traditional Kikite Nation territory. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the show.